These two processes, as we've seen, are very similar, but there's some really key differences. Both are chemical reactions, causing reactants to rearrange into new products. Both do use this carbon atom, and it becomes in different forms through these processes. Producers are the only thing that does photosynthesis, whereas all living things do this cellular respiration process. Photosynthesis can only happen with sunlight. It needs that energy as we saw when we turn the sun off, it stops happening, so it cannot happen at night. Whereas cellular respiration can happen anytime, day or night. We saw that even when the sunlight was turned off, cellular respiration was still occurring. So these processes may share some similarities, but they are very different in some key ways. From all of our evidence collection in the videos, the articles, and the digital model, we can say that the way that organisms are releasing carbon dioxide is through cellular respiration. As organisms release energy during cellular respiration, carbon dioxide is produced from the carbon in energy storage molecules. This process moves the carbon from biotic matter, so the living material, to abiotic matter, to, to the carbon in the atmosphere in the gas form. Now we do need to note that only living organisms are doing this process of cellular respiration. Dead matter, we did see giving off carbon dioxide, but it was not happening through this cellular respiration. So we know that the carbon dioxide was decreasing in the biodome. We know how carbon dioxide forms in an ecosystem, and so hopefully we will be able to use our understanding of how this carbon dioxide gets into the ecosystem understand why it might be decreasing. We know that this is important to our biodome because carbon dioxide is something that is necessary to make those energy storage molecules. In your exit ticket today, you are going to look at some more evidence from the biodome to try and understand why this carbon dioxide was decreasing. Why were the producers, the consumers, or the decomposers not doing cellular respiration as often and causing there to be less carbon dioxide made.